Hi, I'm Ryan McSherry. Uh, I'm an analytical gas product specialist at Yokogawa. Today I'm going to show you how to pair a GD40 gas detector with a GD402 gas analyzer. Okay, you might have to do this if you uh, decide to swap units in a plant or, uh, you know, just various, various different reasons. But anyway, um, as you can see here, the detector is, com is, you know, comes from the factory to be combined with a specific converter. In this case, this is not that converter, okay? As you can see here, that's the serial number 27C9, but on this one, it is 91H7, as you can see the first four letters, okay? So what you're gonna need to do here is uh, set, set all the detector constants into this analyzer. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you, you're loosen the screw so you can remove this cap here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cap. Let's turn it counterclockwise. Okay. And one thing you wanna do first, make sure you match up that detector number here. Okay, see it at the bottom? Put it out on the table so you can get a better look. That 27C906953. Okay, you want to match it with this number right here, 27C906953. Might be kind of hard to see, but that's what it is. Okay, so these are matched up so you know that these detector constants in this cap are right. Okay, so what you're going to do is so you go to your analyzer, your GD402, you're going to loosen these screws here, which I've already done. Take this off, okay, you're going to press the star key, you're going to press no until you get to service and you're going to click yes. Okay, you're going to put in code 82, which you just go on the up arrow, hit over one, and then up arrow two more times, you get 82, hit enter. The service password is 0, 2, 0, press enter. Okay, now you're going to set your KA high, um, as you can see in the upper left hand corner of the video. Um, it'll have a box around that area that you want to you want to enter here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one okay KA low KB high KB low KC high KC low KA high high KA high low KB high high, KB high low, KC high high, KC high low, T1 low high, T1 low low, T2 low high, T2 low low, T3 low high, T3 low low, T1 high high, T1 high low, T2 high high, T2 high low, T3 high high, T3 high low, MT1, which is just that TM there, okay, MT2, okay, then you're going to have CT, which is just the TC, TMPZ, which is, is just, uh, it's, it's shows, it's shown as AZ in the detector cap. TMPS, which is shown as AS in the detector cap. Okay, and now you're done. You just click mode to get out of there. And there you go. Your unit's now calibrated. Don't forget to put the cap back on. Let's do these four Phillips head screws. Do that later. Okay, and go ahead and put your cap back on. It in. All right, move this over and basically just secure that. And all right, now your analyzer is paired with your detector, and you're good to go. Thank you.